Okay, look, I know we don't talk about this guy very much, but I feel like it's kind of important to mention that Weevil is still around doing things, okay? I get it, alright? There's a lot of other stuff on our plates right now, okay? We got a giant duck dragon, we got a Rochi, we got a massive war about to start, we got a Yonko alliance, we got the flashback with Odin, remember that scene when Roger and Whitebeard clashed on that island? That was crazy. Sengoku, you know, talking about Roxty, Zebek, and the God Valley incident, and we got all of Yonko bounties plus Roger's bounty. There, there's been a lot of stuff going on in One Piece the past couple of months, right? So, you know, Weevil kind of gets pushed to the side. I mean, we got that one scene with Weevil when the Shishibukai system got dissolved. Um, a bunch of, let, let's be honest here, either really idiotic or brave as hell Marines showing up to try to bring Weevil and his mom in. I mean, they, they deserve whatever medal you give for the most, these are the most brave and also, foolhardy marines we had. We sent that squad out after Weevil. Uh, because, like, let's look at this. Like, they sent an entire fleet after Mihawk and Boa. You know, Kobe's going to bring in Boa, probably some other marines as well. They sent Stainless after Buggy. But the only marines we see going after Weevil are a bunch of random nobodies with some riot shields. So... <laughs> Yeah, you can finally figure out where that's gonna go. They probably sent some battleships to bring in Weevil as well. But there's like, okay, men, somewhere on this island, there's Weevil. We gotta bring him in. So you guys just go and try to at least lure him to the shore. You know, at that point, we can bombard him with our cannonballs. So you're gonna just be a vanguard unit, but, you know. So we got that one scene with Weevil. And uh, to be fair, Weevil does not really add much to the overall plot of this story um, in terms of like his personality because he's kind of a simpleton. Um, you know, he, the most thing he does is like, Mama, I want to avenge my dad. I'm like, okay, honey, we'll do that. And I also want McDonald's. Okay, we'll get you McDonald's. Okay. I mean, that, that's the most, you know, Weevil really does, right? Remember way back, right after the time skip, where it was like, oh, who's gonna be the new members of the Warlords, right? And we found out Buggy was a new member, Law was a new member, obviously Boa and Kuma and Mihawk, they stayed members. Uh, Doflamingo was still a member at that point, but who was like the new seventh member of the Warlords, right? And everyone's like, wow, is it gonna be a new character? And Oda's like, yes, it is gonna be a new character, revealing the large mama's boy muscular dude that has the intelligence of a lug nut and we're all like oh okay well um that's who we got right and then we had like a few introductory scenes with weevil not much beyond that there so here's the thing though you got to keep in mind with weevil yes his mother does basically control everything he does um and there's that whole ambiguous thing like is he really whitebeard's son because he he has the strength to match it i mean that's already tried and true we've seen what he's done you know basically he's a walking disaster whenever he you know stomps into a town you know it's burning down and destroyed by nightfall okay so so he's got the strength. We got that much. And he's holding up like a, a Naganata, Bicento, whatever you want to call it. He's like walking around with that thing, right? Um, but is his dad actually going to be, you know, the Whitebeard Edward Newgate? I always thought it would be really funny because Weevil is so convinced that like, okay, his mom, like he takes orders from his mom. So like that's his actual mom. But wouldn't it be funny to be reversed? And it's like, no, it turns out Whitebeard is his actual dad. But Bakin is not his actual mom. You know, that would be funny. Bakin also herself kind of ties back to some things or is going to tie back to some things later because she was on the same crew as Whitebeard was uh, before he started his own crew, which we are led to believe that is in fact the Rocks Pirates. So this lady right here fought alongside probably the strongest pirate to ever exist, period. Alongside also Whitebeard and Kaido and Big Mom. And Shiki, Wang Zhi, <gasps> maybe she's Wang Zhi. Yeah, probably not. But you know, Miss Bakin has some answers to some questions that we would probably be interested in knowing, right? But I thought that would be funny for it to be flipped there. Like the person is like, "You're my mama, mama." Wait, you're not my mama? Then who's my mama? You know, it's like, and then it turns out, oh yeah, Whitebeard's actually your dad, right? So you know, that that's like something we'll you know find out later, sooner or later. That'd be fine. But you have to also figure. Weevil's ultimate goal here 
is to take down Blackbeard, which is a good thing. You know, that's a beneficial thing. Now, because he listens to his mom, his mom's giving the orders like, yes, honey, we'll go search for Blackbeard because he killed your dad and all that, you know, maybe. But the first thing we need to do, first and foremost, is we need to go after Marco the Phoenix, and we need to find all of that treasure that your dad left behind. Yeah, that's what we need to do. And, you know, if there's time enough in the day, you know, we'll go after Blackbeard, I guess. You know, Bocking does not want Weevil to go after Blackbeard. Um, you know, it's just kind of like, I, I feel like Weevil being the kind of simpleton that he is, you know, he asked his mom, you know, Mama, who's my dad? And then Bocking, whether she lied about it or not, whether or not Whitebeard is actually Weevil's biological father, she told him the story that, yes, he is, and you know, let's say she did lie. She lied to him about that. Or, you know, and she's like, yeah, I'm going to lie to you about your dad. So you will help me look for the inheritance so we can be filthy rich at the end of the day. Because Bakking so far is just driven by greed. Eh, there might be something else because she was on Rox's crew at some point. So that might have been, you know, more to it than just money. But for right now, it seems like she's just interested in finding a boatload of cash and then living comfortably with that. All right, and that's, that's her character so far, and then manipulating her son to, you know, help her out with that, because she has really no battle power in that regard, right? So she tells Weevil the story about Whitebeard, and, you know, through that story, you know, Weevil's still gonna listen to Bakking, but he's like, wait a second, Mama, Blackbeard was the one that killed my dad then! And Bakking's like, oh, oh yes, I guess he would have been. It's like, okay, then we need to go fight Blackbeard. And Baki, and I can imagine, is like, yeah, we need to do that. Yet. Damn it. Okay, honey, yes, uh, we'll go look for Blackbeard, but first you need to help Mommy out with something. We need to go find a guy that has a pineapple for a head because then he'll give us the money and um, that'll help us find Blackbeard. Okay, Mama, you're so smart. And then they, you know, go on their epic adventure throughout the new world, right? Um... It would actually be kind of cool if we get Bakking out of the equation and see uh, Weevil team up with, like, the Straw Hats or at least the, the group that's going up against Blackbeard. Like, picture it, they all end up somehow at Laugh Tale, you know, with this big epic war going on for the One Piece. Blackbeard himself is there, and the first person to actually go up against Blackbeard is not Luffy, or anybody in the Straw Hats, or any of the Supernovas, or anything. Like, the first thing that happens is if Weevil gets there, he's like, You're Blackbeard! You hurt my daddy! He, he cocks his Naganata, he's like, oh! And then Blackbeard's like, what the actual, what is going on? Who are you? You know, but Weevil's really, really strong, so... That would actually be, like, a cool thing to see, but also... <laughs> okay. Oda might be setting up Weevil just to get bodied, just as, like, a strength level for Blackbeard. That's also a possibility. Like, alright, I'm gonna create Weevil, this really large, super strong, but really dumb dude, and I'm gonna introduce him, and then he's gonna clash with Blackbeard and stuff, and then Blackbeard's gonna defeat him just to prove how strong Blackbeard is. I don't know if Odo would really do that. You know, introduce a character like just that just for the sole purpose. Like an important character. Like not not some random ruffian pirate or something like that. But like, you know, Weevil was introduced as kind of an important character, right? I mean, he's a member of the Warlords. Apparently his father is Whitebeard, although that's kind of dubious. His mom used to be on the Rocks crew. Um, when Nekamamushi talked about this to Marco... Even Marco didn't really know what was going on because Whitebeard never really talked about his personal life very much. You know, um, Whitebeard never sat down on his Moby Dick and is just like, Hey, Marco, come over here. Let me, you know, let me pour you some sake and tell you the story about the only son I ever had. You know, even if that actually happened with Whitebeard, he's not the kind of guy to do that. So Marco has no idea. Marco is just like, yeah, I have no idea what's up with that. You know, if he actually is Whitebeard's son or not. I just know that Miss Baki and Whitebeard were on the same crew at one point about 40-something years ago, and that's all I know. So there's a story there, I'm sure, but I don't have all the deets, right? 
But, yeah, I mean, so he was introduced with a little bit of importance behind him. I'm just saying his personality and his character itself, you know, be because, you know, Oda's depicting him as, like, really, really dumb. You know, like, there's some One Piece characters that aren't the sharpest tools in the shed, sure. But Weevil is depicted as, like, you know, like, oh, I just, you know, I'm just gonna go and wander around town and do whatever my mom says. You know, that's, that's what he is, right? So, maybe we might get that. We might get a story involving Weevil from somebody's perspective, maybe Bakin will tell somebody, or we find out about it from another character that knows about, you know, Bakin, maybe a, a previous, uh, maybe a former uh, member of the Rocks crew, maybe at some point Bakin and Weevil, they run across Silver Axe, or Wang Ji, or Shiki. That would be weird if, like, Shiki got reintroduced into the story through Weevil and Bakin because of Bakin's previous connection to the Rocks crew. I'm just, I'm just trying to think of something Oda can do here because Weevil and Bakin themselves are sort of like an isolated party in all this, right? Like, at least you could say that, you know, Boa Hancock, she's got connections to Luffy. Mihawk's got connections to Perona and connections to Zoro. Buggy's got connections to Shanks. Weevil... Apparently, the only person he's got connections to, uh, you know, in theory, is Whitebeard, and he's dead. Um, you know, Weevil himself has no connections to the Whitebeard crew, like Vista or Jozu or anybody. Like, you know, they don't know each other there. Um, and then Blackbeard, and the only connection they have there is that Weevil has a vendetta and wants to kill Blackbeard, okay? So they're kind of isolated out in the new world right now, doing their thing. I'm trying to figure out some way they could be brought into the bigger story, like somebody they can meet and interact with. Um, you know, the reason Marco stayed behind on Sphinx Island to begin with was because he's like, I'm, I'm feeling like because Weevil is stomping around the new world with his mom, trying to find, you know, the previous members of the crew and allies of Whitebeard's, you know, um, you know, alliance and all that stuff, um, he's eventually going to find Sphinx Island. It, it's well hidden, but they might very well find it someday, and I need to be here to protect the island. Island because if Bakin and Weevil find the island where that village is, they're gonna turn it upside down. Like, quite literally. Like, Miss Bakin will be like, Weevil, lift up the ground, find the treasure. Like, okay, mama! He just grabs the ground, just like, flips the entire town upside down. I don't see any treasure, mom! You know, you know so, like, that might very well happen. So, like, Marco's like, I need to stay behind to protect this place. But it would be actually really neat if Weevil and Bakin find the island and then Weevil starts fighting Marco, and just in terms of sheer physical strength alone, Weevil has him beat. Um, I'm guessing Weevil, was it revealed in a Vivra card that Weevil knows hockey? I'm thinking he probably does, because at this point in the story, you know, if you don't know hockey, you know, it's like, pfft. Um, actually, let me do a quick check on that before I continue this. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just checked, and as I figured, yeah, it was revealed in a Vivra card um, that Weevil does in fact know armament and observation hockey. Hasn't really shown utilizing that yet, because once again, we only see him in very few scenes, but he is confirmed to have it. I figured he probably would, because otherwise, you know. So that, hey, that at least proves right there, and I mean, like... There's been other characters that have used it there. Like, you don't have to be super intelligent to utilize, you know, hockey. But Weevil knows observation and armament, so, you know, there's hope for all of us, basically, right? Like, okay, cool. Alright, so, Weevil starts fighting against Marco because his mom tells him to, and wouldn't it be interesting if somewhere through the process of that fight, Marco could convince Weevil you know, of something to, like, you know, come over to his side. You know, like, Marco maybe says something like, uh, you know, you don't understand, Weevil. This town was where your dad grew up, you know? He wouldn't want you to destroy it, and he didn't leave any money behind. And Weevil, like, you know, short-circuit his brain a little bit. He'd be like, what? But my mama said that she he was. What? I'm sorry. You know, like, and... I don't know how that would work, you know? That would be, like, one of those moments where um, Weevil would have to think for himself something that it seems like he doesn't do very often. So, um, okay. Like, that would be an interesting, like, exchange, though, at least, between Marco and Weevil to see where that could go, right? Um, but yeah, like, if, if Bakin can get out of the picture, 
I think Weevil would actually be a very useful ally to the, the you know, the Whitebeard crew that got disbanded if they come back together and to the Straw Hats and anybody that would be going up against Blackbeard for the final battle here, right? Um, to have Weevil on board and help them out, that would be neat. I'm now picturing, I'm now picturing Weevil, um, like, hanging out with the Straw Hats. <laughs> And it's like this really awkward kind of thing, but at the same time, like they sort of get along, right? Like I can see Luffy, because Luffy kind of gets along with anybody as long as they're not like directly trying to kill the Straw Hats. Like you know, Luffy could get along with him. You know, I could see Sanji like, okay, Weevil, well, what do you want to eat? It was like, oh well, I really like chocolate. I'm like. Okay, and Sanji makes him a chocolate cake, and like, here you go, buddy. He's like, oh my god, I love you guys, you're so much fun, you know? Like, so, I could see it, right? Like, kind of, at least a little bit, you know? It's like, like, cause it's like, alright, we have a guy here, he's apparently Whitebeard's son, um, his mom made him do some really bad things, but he himself is not a bad person, if anything, he just wants to help us get rid of Blackbeard, so we should let him help us, you know, like, it's, he's a giant man mountain, let's, let's give him some, you know, let's give him some food, and let's help, have him help us, okay, cool, uh, yeah, right, okay, and if nothing else, I mean, this is kind of a dick thing to do, but if anything else, like, if you could earn his trust, he would probably listen to whatever you say, you know, because that's what his mom is doing right now, you know, um, I'm not saying the Straw Hats would do that, that would be kind of like an underhanded thing to do, but it's be like, Hey, Weevil, you know, if we give you some chocolate cake, will you help us fight against this crew over here? You know, maybe they could do something like that. But yeah, I'm just figuring out because right now it seems like Weevil is probably not going to get captured by the Marines. The Marines and their riot shields will probably prove somewhat ineffectual against the guy that can reduce entire, you know, towns and islands to ash. I'm not even sure how he did that. The last time we saw him, he was like, he defeated the A&O pirates, and he was just walking through the town, and everything's on fire. You know, does, does he have, like, the friction abilities? Like, he just swings the Naganata so damn fast, it just lights thing on fire. Once again, you know, Zoro's able to do that. I wouldn't doubt that, you know, Weevil would have been able to do that, right? But he can decimate entire towns. So, it, you know, I, I think that he would be very useful in this venture. And I don't think the Marines would be able to stand up to him. Unless, once again, same deal with Mihawk. Same thing with Boa and with um, uh, Buggy especially. Like, if you want to make sure you're going to bring these warlords in, you got to send admirals at them. And if you don't do that, um, yeah, then it's not going to work out too well, right? So, I think Weevil and his mom are going to get away... They might run across somebody else at some point. Maybe maybe Oda might just be like, okay, who else do I need to kind of inject back into this story that's been kind of out of it for a while? Um, Aokiji? We haven't really seen much from Aokiji in a, in a while, right? You know, so Aokiji maybe is working like as a double agent, you know, for Blackbeard. He's like secretly working for S.W.O.R.D. or something, and Aokiji's now working for, like pretending to work for the Blackbeard Pirates. And so maybe he might run across Weevil. He's like, wait, well, you work for the Blackbeard Pirates, I know you, you're the ice guy, I'm gonna break you. And Aokiji's like, wait a second, big guy, hold on there, sec babe ruthless. Um, maybe this could actually work out to your benefit. I'm like, what? You know, it's like, yeah, see, I'm just pretending to work for Blackbeard, but I know where he's at. So, if I, like, point you in the right direction, it's like, I get to take care of Blackbeard then! Yes! Awesome! Good! Alright, so yeah, we might be able to make this work, kind of, right? Well, anyway, yeah. Um, not much really to add from Weevil's perspective here, but uh, let me know what you think about him below and how he's gonna be, you know, fixed in it. Because I feel like he's gonna have a role to play in the final war, final battle of this story. Oda's just kind of keeping him on the back burner for right now, you know, until that time comes. But let me know what you think about that below. Uh, kind of a short video from my perspective, but, you know, I was looking even at my back catalog, and I'm like, man, I really don't even talk about Weevil that much. And I'm the guy that's made, like, 18 videos on... On Law. Granted, Law has a lot more stuff going for him than Weevil, but I'm like, he's a member of the Warlords, he's a really strong dude, he's the son of Whitebeard. I should have made more videos about him at this point, right? Well, let me know what you think about Weevil below. Thanks for watching, everybody. This will be Teching, signing out. I really need to get a haircut, so that'll be coming up soon. Oh, I started uh, Half-Blood Prince. I finally got to, I read 
the last, like, 250 pages of Order of the Phoenix in one night. See, when I get on a roll, I'm very scattershotted with reading. Some days I'll read nothing. Some days I'll read, like, 10 chapters. Uh, other days I'll read, like, 10 pages. You know what I mean? Like, that's how I am with reading. But I'm finally done with Order. I really enjoyed Order. Uh, but now we're getting into the Half-Blood Prince. So, uh, not a very long book compared to Order. I feel like I should get this done in a relatively short amount of time. And then, you know, Deathly Hallows is, like, about the same length as Goblet. It's, like, a little bit longer. But beyond that, we're almost done and it's only March I started this like um towards the end of January so we're not even two months and I'm almost done with all the books I was way beyond what I originally figured I thought I was going to be doing this until like you know well into the latter half of the year but um no I'm on a roll I'm on a roll guys so Half-Blood Prince I wonder who is the Half-Blood Prince oh it's Snape okay well there you go